Alright, let's go lionfish hunting. In this video, we are somewhere off American Shoal in the Lower Keys and go diving for lionfish. We will usually use the Garmin to find some good topography nearby and then pay attention to the sonar to look for a good spot. I'm Amanda and welcome to our channel, Aqua Blue. And here we go. So there's Chris as he jumps in the water. Does a backward entry. You can see we have a line out on the back of the boat so we don't float too far away. He asks if I'm okay and then we make our way down. For gear, he has a pole spear, a zookeeper, as well as a dive bag with some floats and other tools in case we come across some treasure. Here, Chris has line going out from a reel. We usually tie off from the anchor so we can always find our way back to the boat. During the dive, we will explore in the area around it. Coming up on our first lionfish, Chris spots one. They're pretty dumb, so you can get the pole spear as close as possible. He misses one. Now we're chasing him. I try to point it out to him. And he gets him. Great shot. And oh gosh, he got off. This isn't good. Those spikes have venom, so you don't want them floating around you. That first one ended up being a bit of a mess, but got him in the zookeeper. Let's go find some more. Here's one in the open. And that was perfect. Sometimes you'll find a group of lionfish all together and you can just blast each of them real quick. I was impressed with this little blue coral, but Chris has found another one. An angelfish. These guys are always friendly and curious.
Oh, looks like a blue runner went by. What do we have here? Oh, a crabby. Haven't lost the line, so that's good. Can still see it. came across this guy. This is the best shot I've ever got of a hogfish. I tried to come up to him real slow and he didn't seem to get spooked. You have to watch closely though. They change their colors to camouflage themselves to the surroundings. He is just chomping away. And oh, there it goes. It's like magic. We do one more quick look. But it's about time to start ending the dive and reel ourselves back to the boat. These are great tasting fish. Really white and flaky. You just have to be extra careful with the venomous spines. Once you get those snipped off with scissors, then you can fillet it like a normal fish. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.